students welcome again we have seen here that we have used backslash n to print the output in the next line so i have used backslash n star 2 it means backslash n backslash n this one line second line the same can also be done by backslash n backslash n now the next method is to load data using absolute path now what is this absolute path it is not always necessary that we will save the file in the current working directory. We will save it at some different location where we want it to be saved. Like if you see there, this file I have saved in user, admin, desktop, internship data and here I have saved this file, employee underscore data. So if I want to read this file from the folder where I have saved it, I will use the command like this. Now how will we come to know where we have saved this file? So this file I have saved here in desktop, in internship data and somewhere here employee data. So what I will do is I will click here and I will copy this path I will copy this path and I will paste the path here in this now I run this so when I run this I will get the details of the file now you can see here this is also employee underscore data and the earlier file that we read is also employee underscore data but then there is difference in the data because here it is modified and here it is a raw data you can see this is a raw data this one so the names are different ages 2 5 weight 59 so this is the another file which is saved by the same name and the locations are different and data dot head will print only five entries zero and next so five column numbering as four as the last column now if you want to see the last few entries run this you can see the last few entries now every time it is not necessary to give this command data is equal to pd dot read csv from this once we have used this command once we have used this command now it knows that data means this data and data means this data and not and not this data this one name of both the file that we have kept is same but now when we are, when i am seeing now the data it will read this only it will not publish the data or it will not display the data which we have obtained here here and from this file which was located in user admin okay. so this is now this name is overwrite by this name data here. You can also see the data types. What are the various data types? Name is object, salary, age and weight are integers and diabetic is also object. Now next we will see how to create data in pandas. That is called as data frame in pandas. Now, if you have Excel file, you can open the Excel file and do operations on, on it. But if you want to create a new data, then you can create it like this and this is called as data frame in pandas. So how will we do this? Import pandas as pd that we have already done in this file. Now I have this data and in this data, what we have? Cities. So I have created a, can you tell me what is this? this 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 is a dictionary so i have created dictionary of cities and in the dictionary what i have i have name as the key and the values of name are these values i have population as the key and the values of population are these values i have area as the key and the values of the area are this this is one way of creating dictionary the other way we have seen was name 
now instead of writing name that there we have written london as the key and this as the data okay. so for multiple key and values you can create it like this so this is a dictionary from here to here now in this dictionary i want to import this as a matrix of rows and columns so how can i do that i have given a name to this matrix of rows and column as city underscore frame that is equal to pd dot data frame now there is no csv file here so i am importing it as data frame and in data frame what i am importing i am importing cities so I, it will bring the cities here in data frame and what will be the columns here columns will be population and area population and area and it will be indexed by cities name indexed by name and where is this name found name will be found in cities and if i print this see what we get we have this now where where this is a data frame which has index as name so index by name then population and area are the two columns population and area are the two columns like this let us try something different here we'll cut this and paste it here now we'll see what output it gives it gives the output as per the way in which we have formulated it now it is first giving area and then giving population we can also index it by area we can also index it by population the way we want to do so this is one way of creating data frame another way of creating data frame is this first we'll see is this so first is this last is this job is this and language is this so what i have created i have created four variables here first last job and language now i am creating a data frame and i am asking it to pd dot data frame create a data frame pd dot data frame and name it as df and how it is arranged now it is arranged in this way what are the columns the columns are last job languages so last job languages will be the three columns index is first so that will be the first column second third and fourth column and i am asking it to last zip this thing and create the matrix of rows and columns so it is creating the matrix of rows and columns last job languages last job languages now how it is creating first is mike and so on then last in last first is mayor and so on in job first is data analyst in language first is python same thing also can be created by this way this is another way now i have created a dictionary here the one which similar to the one which we have used here i have created a dictionary here and the name of this name of the dictionary is bank in dictionary i have created key values key values key values key values and i am asking it to create a data frame now name of the data frame will be df underscore bank bank and pd dot data frame from where it will will it take the values from the bank and what will be the columns the columns will be last job language last job language and index will be first which will be taken from bank and print the data frame 
Now if you see here it has printed the same thing this thing is similar to this and this if you want to see it like this then you can remove this print option and you will get the similar result like this. So this is a way in which you can create database. The earlier database that we have created can be used to plot something. See here what we have. We have we have data of city frame. Which data is it? City frame. This data. And what we have here? Area and population. Now, I will use this to create a plot, to create a plot. So it has created a plot like this using matplotlib. X ticks, these are the X ticks. Then rotation is 90 degree. This rotation is 90 degrees for this. If I make it to 0 degree, let us see what happens. It gets overlapped. We are not able to accommodate all this. That's why we have rotated it to 90 degree. Now we can see all. There are two. There are two labels here area and population. Now if you see area is just this and population is showing a graph it is it does it mean that area is a horizontal line all the values are same no area all the values are not same but then population is in seven digit and this is in three or four digit that's why this is negligible to this that's why it is showing like that if you want to show area also in the graph then what you will have to do is you will have to scale up the values of area by multiplying it probably by what will you do is we will type here city underscore frame Now we will be able to see area, button and population both. If you add that is that. So this way we can use the data from data frame to create graph. We will stop here, practice this much, create data set, data frame and we will see few more operations using pandas.